is to do all of this or they cannot add their children at all. That's the law. Here we have Congressman who is going through all of this with his brand new child, West Virginia Congressman Alex Mooney is with us. Congressman, first of all, congratulations on the birth uh, of your youngster. That's wonderful news and we celebrate with you. But now you've got to take us through the process and tell us why she, I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl, he or sh she, I don't know why she doesn't have health coverage. Explain it. Sure. Uh, it's a beautiful little girl born October 13th in Charleston, West Virginia. And I read about the same thing happening to several families in Utah, which is why I finally now decided to come speak out about this, because I think there are many families around the country suffering under this unfair treatment. Obamacare <clears throat> has not lived up to its promises. You can't keep your doctor. It's too expensive. And now they won't even insure many people. I'm still fighting to have my child uh, insured from the date of her birth last year through last year so I can pay these bills. I no, paid the premiums but, um, but, and it's just unfair. But that, that is not true if you, get, or, uh, if you get your health insurance from your private sector employer. You can right. add a child, I mean quite easily I think, add a child right. to your coverage almost as soon as the child is born, if not way before. So right. it seems that Obamacare is worse in many ways, much worse than private sector in, in, um, in coverage. It is worse because it's a false promise. They lead people to believe they'll be covered and then they, then they deny them the coverage. And I think well, anybody listening to your show, please call your congressman if you're having this problem. Don't suffer in silence. I'm a member of Congress and I'm fighting the same problem. Uh, I, report, I called Obamacare right after. I actually had the insurance company trying to discuss it with the federal exchange. They couldn't figure it out. They checked with chips. Chips finally got denied. Then they said, oh, it's too late now because it's been more than two weeks. And it's just a complete disaster. Well, and I've been writing letters and appealing it. I can't get anywhere. It's this, thing, it's this bureaucracy, isn't it? Nobody, no American likes bureaucracy. Yeah. Nobody likes having yeah. to go here yeah. and there and fill out this and that and the other. Right. People go crazy at that kind of thing. Yeah. But Obamacare is all bureaucracy all the time. Right. You've put levels of government between the patient and their doctor. And it's not working at all. It's going to get worse. That's why I decided to speak out now. It's just getting worse. The federal exchanges aren't done right. This does not work. Having government run your health care plan, there's no one to appeal to. Who do you When the government tells you no, who do you appeal to? My heart went out to those people in Utah who were denied coverage, just like I'm being, having denied, and they don't have to appeal to. It was a reporter that called the Health and Human Services media line to get them covered. But I know there's many other people listening to this show, hopefully, that, that can now see it's not just them. There's this happening everywhere, and this needs to be addressed. It needs to be fixed. I'm for repealing Obamacare and replacing it with health actually work that keep their promises, which Obamacare is clearly not doing. We live in hope, Congressman. Congressman Alex Mooney, Republican, West Virginia, congratulations Thank on you. your little girl. That's good news indeed. Thank Thanks for joining Thanks. us, sir. You're welcome.